G'day punters. Today I thought we'd have a look at uh, War Thunder. Some of you may know of this game, others may not. Anyway, we're having a look at in particular a quick overview of the CAC Boomerang Mark 1 with CAC standing for Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation which gives a hint at where this plane was actually built. It's actually an Australian made built fighter plane of World War II it has the historical distinction of being one of the only fighters in history to have never shot down an enemy aircraft. There's probably many reasons why it didn't, uh, but some of the main reasons were that uh, most of the frontline duties were handed out to the P-40s and Spitfires that were in Australian service. However, this thing did distinguish itself quite well as a ground attack aircraft. Okay, well let's take off. Another beautiful thing about this little baby She's not that fast. She's a very sweet, new maneuvering, handling aircraft. As you can see then, it didn't take much to get her off the ground, which always helps when you're being attacked. So she has a short takeoff, and she actually has quite a short landing as well. And you can see that uh, this particular plane has a radial engine. That's one reason why uh, planes of this type with radial engines had a shorter, snubbier, rounder fuselage uh, compared to say things like a Spitfire that had more of a nice pointy nose. This particular plane is armed with four .303 calibre machine guns which I'll let, uh, let rip them now. There we go. So the uh, traces and the uh, expand cartridges for them. Also, you can see there's these two long stubs, or stubs, two long things pointing out of the wing. They're actually two 20mm cannons. Uh, let's, uh, oh, yeah. you can see the difference in the traits of two. There's the machine guns, and there's the cannons, the big red ones. She only carries 120 rounds for the cannons, and she carries over 3,500 rounds machine guns. So obviously when you're playing this game, ideally try and keep your cannons for enemy aircraft because uh, cannons really hurt planes. Keep the machine guns for strafing ground targets, particularly armoured cars and AA guns. Uh, and also with artillery. The other thing is you're not going to really touch tanks with this thing. Um, you may, might damage some light tanks but basically leave the tanks to guys with bombs or rockets. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what she can do. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little look. We've got the G's there. As you can see, I'm not actually that high, so maneuvers like that in some planes you wouldn't do. And like I said, this one's actually quite a sweet little handler. She can actually do quite a lot. So I'm not using a joystick, I'm using a mouse and keyboard. Those uh, the purists out there that are cringing right now. But good thing about War Thunder, they actually cater for a wide variety of players. So I'm quite happy doing this. I do have a joystick, but I don't have a full flight set up. I just find it easier to use the mouse and keyboard since... Uh, I don't have to worry about getting the to go. Yeah, we fly straight down to the ground here. Let's have a look. Oh, let's pull up quickly. As you can see, barely just above the trees here. Some nice detail there. Oh, the traces are uh, bounce off the ground. Just ran out of cannon ammo. So there's also, this plane is quite a, a durable little plane. Quite maneuverable, just a sweet, especially for her tier. And tier 4 carrying two cannons is a big advantage. Um, a lot of cannon armed aircraft are a little bit higher. I guess this is the advantage in that respect. It's one, of course, uh, it's one of my favourite planes in the game. There are some other nice planes, but the boomerang is much one of my first go-to aircraft. 
also the boomerang is a part of the British tree. So, so basically the British tree is like a combined Commonwealth tree. Um, it does say British, but you do have the Australian planes. There's also uh, the Hudson bomber in there. Is the Hudson or the Baltimore? One of the two. Um, it has Australian markings on it. When you're landing, you want to come in under 180k, but you don't want to come in too slow that you lose your lift, because then you're just uh, more darted. Okay, so let's drop it down. Here we go. And a sweet little touchdown. Slowly put the brake on, slowly bring the tail down. But oh, there we go. Because if you're not careful, you will flip the plane. Do a lawn dart. Okay. Just a quick overview of the, uh, the CAC Boomerang Mark 1. Uh, may make a future video about how she uh, fights in combat. Okay, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you around like a wrestle.